What is the difference between Vinasteride and Minoxidil? Finasteride is a DHT blocker, which means that it's blocking the conversion of testosterone to DHT, dihydrotestosterone, and it's DHT, which is the main culprit of androgenetic alopecia in men and women. What this allows for the condition is the miniaturization that's going on, where the hair is thinning and thinning, it can reduce this and lets you hang on to your native grafts for a lot longer, sometimes even for the entirety of your life. Minoxidil is a very old blood pressure medication that was used, um, and they found that it also has some very beneficial side effects in terms of good hair growth or excess hair growth. Um, the jury's still out in terms of how it works for hair loss, but the main mechanism which we postulate is that it, inc it increases the antigen phase, the growth phase of the hair, um, and topically it may increase the blood flow. So these medications work in very different ways. Um, there's also many questions around if I don't want to use uh, finasteride orally, can I use it topically? Well, certainly this is gathering a lot of uh, pace over the last couple of years because a lot of people are, um, well, I'm going to say obsessed with the side effects, which statistically are very, very low. But if you did want to consider this, um, there is some good data out there that this can be beneficial. I'm going to hold off um, from saying it's statistically beneficial because we simply don't have large enough randomized control trials to um, support the fact that it's the same standard to finasteride orally. But anecdotally, some of my colleagues, smaller studies around the world have shown that finasteride topically can benefit patients who are unwilling to take the medication orally. Um, the benefit, of course, theoretically, is that if you're not taking it systemically, uh, the chance of you having syst systematic side effects are a lot lower. Um, and obviously the medication, theoretically, is only staying in the scalp. I think, personally, there may be some negligible uh, you know, uh, distribution into the blood supply, uh, but that's very, very small. So I hope that helps in understanding the differences between finasteride and minoxidil. They are two very different medications. They can be used together, they can be used together topically, or they can even be used um, together orally. Um, so um, talk to your healthcare provider about further information and really try to understand the differences and what's most beneficial for yourself. Thanks very much.